back to Fluto and welcome to another little video. This is going to be an analysis video and this is going to be on Sonic Superstars which was announced yesterday at Summer Games Fest and uh, I saw the trailer on my phone when I was about to get into the shower. So this trailer was released when I wasn't wearing any clothes for future reference. <laughs> Let's get into this. What I'm going to do is an analysis. First I'm just going to play it through. Then we're going to play it through at slower speed and talk about it and go through separate things and discuss it and that is when the analyzing will take place. But to start off with, we're just gonna play it. Here we go. So obviously at the beginning, we've got Sonic running in Emerald Hill Zone. His scores look really weird. They look like they expand as he's running up onto that. Anyway, here we have Sonic, actually really nicely animated, the best animation we've had, like, ever. <laughs> but anyway, here he goes, he's off, running classic Sonic, doing his thing. You know, Sonic is back in a brand new adventure. There he is, running with a background, foreground background things. He goes through a hoop, with some grind rails, with an all new look, and the music is kind of popping off. And we get this like digital area where there's some like voxel, voxel enemies. Players, your favorite characters. There's Sonic running along, there's Tails being Tails, there's Knuckles being Knuckles, there's Amy being my goat. Team up with friends. So obviously, multiplayer that you can have four player co-op which we'll actually go into a bit because I have something to say about that <laughs> anyway here they are and they turn into octopuses octopuses um mass new powers and abilities there he is he's running on a wall goes up a waterfall as you do and then he's spider-man and the music is popping off right now so hard Ah. Anyway, here we have like a boss. It does his ability. Sends a bunch of people over. Sonic Superstars. New thrills. Classic feels. Sign up for exclusive Amy Rose skin, which is classic Amy in modern Amy's dress. So the best Amy in the best Amy costume. Coming fall 2023. So, now we will go through. We'll play that through at about a quarter speed. And we'll do analyzing like I did when Sonic Frontiers footage was first coming out. All right, so here, if you want to actually look, look at his quills really carefully because it does look peculiar. When he gets on the straight, look, why are they so short? And then as he's running more, look, ready? They get longer. Maybe that's just my imagination, but look, they got longer. That's playing at full speed. Anyway, here he goes through the thing. So, so something is another small thing to note. I really like how when the thing split on this side it's pixely and this side it's not. And you see when it actually goes back and forth, like there it's all cloudy. When he goes back, it's, when he goes back it'll be the same thing, but like pixel up. And I really like that. It looks really nice. Just for a little, little trailer thing. And he's like, whoa, I have hands. So nicely animated. It's beautiful. Whoever animated this, do, do more. <laughs> He goes through, he's just looking around a bit, you know, he's he's confused, bless him. Look at that animation though, it's so good. He stops and he's like, it is what it is, you know. <laughs> oh well. Anyway, that, that classic Sonic model, I want to talk about the classic Sonic model really quick. Oh, in fact, all the models, they are really nice. Um, I don't know if it's the Generations one and the Forces model, or if it's a different one. Certainly animated a lot better than those two, so who knows? Uh, I did see the guy that actually had made the models that were, I think, that were definitely used for Knuckles and Amy. And he, oh fuck, Jesus Christ, this man, he was like, they haven't even credited me for these anime, for these models which I made for Sega, that Sega own, and also it's a fucking trailer, why are they gonna credit you in a trailer? What are you waffling about? Honestly. Anyway. <laughs> they own the rights to the model, it's their model. We see this nice little animation when he dips into it properly. His model actually breaks for I just have to think, yeah, look at that. Mmm, with that actually the model being changed to... It's good. They've actually, they're actually animating things properly rather than just restricting it purely to rigid structure. Nice. It only took them however long to do it. <laughs> Sonic is back in a brand new adventure. Of it also, no reuse environments, at least from what we've seen. Which is beautiful. We see this little thing where it goes into the background. I have seen some people complaining that there's dash panels on this. Um, now, there's two reasons why there'd be dash panels on this. One, to make sure you actually get round. 
two, there's dash panels in literally every Sonic game from like Sonic 2, so I don't really know what you're moaning about. And even Sonic 1 had scripted sections with the S things you go down, you remember them? Also, it's a foreground to background transformation, so if you ran out of speed in the middle and you drop, well, what side are you going to drop? Are you going to drop in the foreground or the background or just die? You know, so it makes sense why these things are here and I don't really know why people are complaining about it because it's something that's been in all of them and it's there for practical reasons. But there you go, people be people, you know? Also, that animation is so nice with his, with his arms back like that and his legs doing the, doing the peel out thing. That looks so good. Look at that. Look at my boy. Oh, he was running in the air then. I don't like it when he does running in the air. But that's a classic Sonic thing. He's a classic Sonic. So maybe we'll let him off. Um, here, he's going around whatever these things are. They look cool. Again, it's scripted, but Sonic 2 and 3 had things like this. So again, I don't really see why people are complaining. You go through that thing, whee! Like that. Why did my phone just vibrate? It's not a reminder I set. Um, <laughs> uh, what am I looking at here? Yeah, he goes around the things. Here he's on a grind rail. My boy is grinding. Look at him go. Alternate route that up the top. He goes around here. There's a loop-de-loop. -loop. He goes around whatever that thing is with a banana in its face, like a pig banana thing. It's chasing him. Whether they'll just chase him on the rails or maybe you get chased by enemies in some bits of the levels, like bullet bills or something. That would be cool. Anyway, and boy is grinding. I guess also there is where um, it joins up with the previous area. Also, little circle. Little portal opening up there. What is that? I have no idea. With an you look. Okay, well, well, you do get abilities, so maybe that's one of the abilities. I don't know. Literally, we know hardly anything about this game. Also, another enemy type that looks like there are, there's there. You can see. Uh, and then we enter this voxel area. Now, at first I thought it was going to be a spectral stage, but I think it might just be a normal stage. I actually have no idea, to be honest. Everything's kind of, you know so retro um i don't know you know sonic he kills that thing it explodes into pixels it's actually a really nice looking environment again and it's original which is like it kind of looks like null space with the purple cubes it won't be null space but it kind of looks like that um you've got these little springboard things which i like they launch you up again there's just like a lot of polish that you can see which is very rare for a sonic game to have polish him going around as loop loop de loop where I'm gaining some speed down there. The M word is in full effect. There you see, smashed with that thing. Wow, that is a shiny ass spring. Look at that, my God. Comes up here, bops that back thing on the head. Play as your favorite characters. And obviously this is the reveal of the four playable characters we've got in the four player multiplayer. Again, I'll get onto that in a bit when we actually get onto looking at their website. I'll talk about that more. Also, I've had people literally look at this clip and be like, well, what's the momentum like? What's the momentum like when he's going down the hill? Literally, somebody also put this up against like a classic Sonic thing, which went down and did a loop at the exact same time. I don't know what you're moaning about because it was identical, literally, uh, honestly. People just... I think they're looking for things. Look, he's speeding up. They're speeding up going down the hill and people are like, well, does he actually speed up? What the fuck do you... It's fine. Anyway, there's... Uh, we should look at... We should look at my boys. There was Sonic we saw, we've seen in the whole trailer. Um, where's Tails? There he is. I really like the effect of his tails. The like swoosh going around them, that looks really nice. Knuckles again, his feet are ginormous. Look at my boy. Okay, he's, he's going along. As you do, and there's Amy, I love Amy's run animation with her arms out back like that. That's really cute and her little legs going. A hair flapping about. It's adorable. Team up with friends. I don't have any of them. And we got on to the team up with friends <laughs> in a bit because... Oh dear. Anyway, this is a reveal as four player cult, which is the first for a Sonic game to actually play the main game with four players. First for a Sonic game ever. We got whatever that enemy was. Obviously, Tails and Knuckles climbing up this thing. Launching off these things. Tower Spinball looks kind of weird there. Amy's got a big hammer she's smashing. Goes for those walls, I think, so they can get to them by spinning, which we saw earlier. In fact, that might be the exact same bit of level design. It's not. There's a spring there. Look at Knuckles. He's happy. His little nose is shaking as he's running along. A big shark thing just eats a thing. Okay. <laughs> um, here they are. So retro. 
Um, okay, I assume this will be an ability you can do. Maybe the portal will take you to these bits and they're like special stages. I don't know. I don't know. The portal was earlier in the jungle. Anyway, they go through blah, 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 and they turn into octopuses. Um, for some reason. And this bit in normal speed, the music reminds me of Terraria a lot. Here they go. Knuckles crashed into that like a fool. But you've obviously got a little spin attack you can do when you're an octopus. Master new powers and abilities. So this is where we get reveal some of the abilities. Sonic goes past a checkpoint. He turns into wet Sonic. Um, and he's running along the walls. I've seen some people say it's wisps. I don't think it's wisps because it's classic Sonic. That makes no sense. But as you see, why is the quality just fallen off? I have no idea. But when he goes into there, he looks like a like a wisp, like a hover wisp kind of shape. I think it's I think it's just supposed to be a water drop, to be honest with you. He comes along and goes back on his path. Here we just have a 3D thing. This is literally Spider-Man. I assume these are the actual special stages. Um, and these little blue things you can swing off like you were Spider-Man. I said Batman, didn't I? I meant Spider-Man. Unless I didn't. Then we've got the Sonic 1 special stages. Right, here's my prediction. The ones we saw a minute ago, the Spider-Man ones, they're the actual special stages to get the Chaos Emeralds. These ones are little bonus stages. Um, you can do, you know when you hit like a checkpoint at Sonic 2 and you get a bonus a little thing that spins around over the top. Oh, not but Sonic 2, that is the special stages. Um, Sonic 3, you go past the checkpoint, you get the little stars at the top. I assume it's going to be them. I've also just seen a Sonic coin down the bottom here. Not a Scooby, what that's going to do. Um, anyway, there goes Sonic down there, drown, going down a hill. There they all are in the special stage, which hurt your brain. Here we have what looks to be some sort of boss doing some of the things that launched you. Reminds me a bit of the... Is it Sonic Mania boss, does that? Or... I don't know, I'm thinking of Sonic 1. The Sonic 1 final boss. No, it's not Sonic 1 final boss. Or maybe it's the first stage. Whatever one where there's, it shoots things at you and you have to go to one of the areas where there's less things. That boss. You know what I'm talking about. Um, it reminds me kind of of that. And then here's Sonic and Amy like, Hur! you know, drama, drama pose as they get these arms launched at them, right? From this big Eggman machine thing. Sonic does this ability where he launches all these other Sonics at him. Um, that one just died. Did he die for getting hit by the thing? Oh, he did. That's tragic. Um, but that's one of the abilities I think you get. I think you get this from the Chaos Emeralds, it said. I'll look at the website in a bit and we'll confirm that. This reminds me very much of the Bloons. I know it's definitely in Bloons Tower Defense 3. It's probably in others. Uh, where you, where there's like the cleared screen button and it says like a monkey wave to get rid of all the balloons. Kind of reminds me of that. You know, and obviously they all do damage. So again, that'd be good for bosses. If you could use that ability normally as well, I think it would also be useful for um, clearing out like a screen. If there's a bit, there's got a bunch of enemies, you just clear out the whole screen. And then we get the reveal. And then here we have big boy, Knack the Weasel or Fang the Sniper, I think is his name depending on where you're from. He has different names. He's laughing, so he's he's gonna play a key role. He was actually in the beginning area, beginning bit as well. He goes through, and just as he's about to go through, no! And then we zoom in on that, coming fall, or autumn as normal people say, 2023. So we don't have an official release date, apart from it's coming somewhere in autumn, so it'll probably be somewhere between September and November, because that's when autumn is. Um, overall, it looks really good. I like, I like the, I like the, um, while I'm talking, let me just put this on loop. How do I do a loop video on here? Can I do that? Can I do that? Question mark? No? Okay. Well, we'll just restart it. Um, yeah, I do like, uh, there's no reduced levels. I do like the fact it's 3D and not a sprite because honestly, I'm so tired of 2D games these days being released. Not just Sonic, just all 2D games being sprites. I'm so tired of just sprites and pixel art. So I'm actually happy it's going for its own style as well. Cause it's not going for like a kind of generations 
uh, forces kind of thing. It's like, it, it uses that design of classic Sonic, but it's kind of going for its own thing. I think the style is, it's beautiful. It's, it's really nice. Um, it, it does like, things like that, obviously, they're going to be automated, but then automated sections are in things before. I am slightly concerned with the level design because all the things they've shown, you're just kind of going right, and there's not really any platforming to speak of. Um, obviously, the camera zoomed in for a lot of it, um, for, so you can see the, the character models and stuff. So we don't get a look at how much alternate path there is. Like, obviously, there's one up there you can go. Uh, you know, later on you get the waterfall ability, so you'll be able to go up that waterfall that was that was there, which I went past, and now I'm taking ages to get back to because I'm going frame by fucking frame. Uh, that waterfall there, you go up there, that'll take you to the other path. There was a waterfall at the very beginning, the first stage. Also, things are different times of day. That's that area of different times of day. Don't know how many acts is going to be, we don't know how long the game's going to be. Uh, but yeah, there's different times of day, different acts take out. We've got that, which we still don't know if it's a stage or not. Um, yeah, overall, I think it's really good. I'm going to find their website now. All right, so here I am on their website, and it's actually a beautiful render of classic Sonic there with this thing. That's a, that's an absolutely stunning render. Uh, you can watch the trailer there, blah, 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 blah. But for his new thrills, thrills? New Thrills Classic Fields Adventure Through my, uh, Mystical North Star Island. So this is collected, uh, connected to the classic game in some way. Obviously you had South Island, West Side Island. I don't know, if, was there an East? Who knows? North Star Island. Again, maybe you could argue it's connected to Sonic Frontiers because it's set on an island. You had the Starfall Islands. <laughs> Who knows, you know, which is, it says the word islands and we're losing our mind about it. Um, it's all you take on two, uh, classic 2D Sonic high-speed action platforming. It does say platforming. High-speed action platforming, which is what we want. We want platforming in the 2D. Player Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, and Amy Rose, and harness all new emerald powers. So, all new emerald powers. Are they the Chaos Emeralds, or are they different emeralds? I'm assuming they're going to be Chaos Emeralds, because how many emeralds are you going to have? Seriously. Um, uh, to move and attack in dynamic ways. So, we saw the attack where it sends all the people. Uh, we saw the one uh, where he sent... Um, Turns into water. They're the only two we've seen so far, I think. Maybe they, they can do swinging in one of them, like we saw on the special stage. But what if it is the special stage? That would be cool, actually, if each special stage where you get the Chaos Emerald, it's designed around that upgrade which you get. That would be really interesting. Whether that's what happens or not, we will have to find out. But that would actually be a really interesting idea. Navigate Gorgeous, never seen four environments. Solo or up to three players to stop Dr. Eggman Fang and a mysterious new adversary from coming to the island. So we have had uh, confirmation that there is a new enemy uh, designed by Naoto Oshima, who's a guy which did all the d d like designs of, of the characters way, 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 way back in the day. He might have done some since. I know, I think he was a guy that designed Tails. Um, so having him back to do this, you know, means really it's going to be as good as you can get for the designs. So obviously our villains are Eggman, Fang, and someone. Um... Uh, from converting the uh, islands, great animals into bad nick. So I assume that's a giant shark or something that they've turned into a robot. A new spin on classic 2D high-speed uh, side-scrolling action platforming, you know, and love reimagined with fully 3D graphics, which looks stunning. New powers and abilities, all new settings and new ways to play. You've never played classic Sonic like this before. Thank you. I have never put it good. Um, can we look at these pictures in higher res? No, they're literally just that resolution, aren't they? Okay. Whoa, we're zoomed in. <laughs> uh, Plays your favourite characters. Choose from Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, Amy Rose. Take advantage of their unique abilities to blaze... To what? <laughs> to blaze a path across the North Star Islands as they race to... That said islands. Let's say island. Oh, no, just say islands. Okay. As a race to defeat Dr. Eggman, who had teamed up with an old nemesis, Fang, his name... Oh, his name is Fang. Wait, what did I say? Oh, Knack. He's Knack, isn't he? Depending on where you're from. Uh, yeah, not really much. It's just you've got four players. Harness power of the Chaos... Okay, so it is the Chaos Emeralds. Harness power of the Chaos Emeralds. Multiply, swing up waterfalls. Change form. So maybe that's your cuboidal Sonic. Um, and more with the powers from the Chaos Emeralds. So we still really know what they do, apart from they just give you powers. 
more friends, more fun. For the first time ever, a Sonic game play through the entire campaign with up to three other players with drop in and drop out four player local co-op. Now this is where my issue stems. If you're going to have a game which is fully compatible with co-op from start to finish, you can have four player co-op. Why limit it to local co-op only? Why not have it be online? Because this means you can only play the game a co-op if you know somebody which likes the game who lives within a very short distance of you because honestly who's gonna go for a long time to come to your house to play Sonic Superstars right we don't even know if it's gonna be good also if it's online co-op you can have people be off the screen at the same time it's local co-op everyone has to be on the same screen how are they gonna get around that issue because Sonic 2 and stuff they had co-op local co-op uh, when that came out, and you know, yeah, the second player, you just can't even see what you're doing because Sonic just zooms off. So it's such a stupid decision that they've made it be local co-op and not online co-op. However, um, I assume it's designed primarily with um, it's designed primarily with single player, like pretty much every other classic Sonic game. You'll be able to do it single player, so that's cool. I don't really, I don't really care um we get some more screenshots here sonic running along they look absolutely stunning these are some beautiful screenshots again these are just the environments we've already seen with the different characters doing different things and that loops and you can start to subscribe to the newsletter sign up by january 31st 2024 to earn a classic redefined look for amy rose uh this is new letter subscribers only don modern amy's outfit on classic amy so you get the superior classic amy design with the superior modern amy Clothes, it's a W. Do that if you care. Um, so, bit of email, so email goes straight to your inbox and instructions how to load in your content once it's released in fall 2023 for selected regions only for a limited amount of time. So, like Superstars games are separately necessary to access in game content. Gaming device must be connected to the internet and downloading game in game content. Uh, it's free on literally all platforms PS5, 4, both Xboxes, Xbox One, Switch, Epic, and Steam. So, literally, if you own anything. Uh, you'll be able to get this. What else is in these? Oh, these are just that, isn't it? Feature me. So that's the full website, is it? Oh, this is just on the Sega thing. I wonder if I switch to English UK, do you think they'll uh, change his name to the Superior Mac? No, it stays as fan. Well, I, I don't really know what the difference is. But okay, there will be no difference in that at all. But yeah, that's Sonic Superstars, and overall I think it looks really good. There is one more thing I need to mention, which I'm not a fan of. The game is $60. That's £50. That's full price. That's the same price as Sonic Frontiers. Now, you know, granted, we've only seen a little bit of this game. But I don't know if it's going to be worth the same amount as Sonic Frontiers. But, uh, you know, I'm still going to buy it anyway, aren't I? I mean, who am I kidding? I'm still going to buy it. I'm going to stream it. We're going to have a jolly old time. Yeah, um, that's Sonic Superstars. It's probably overpriced. It's beautiful. The cult decisions were stupid. There's no reuse environments what we've seen. The new abilities look cool. The physics looks fun. The game looks fun to play. The level design, I'm slightly worried. Maybe it's too straight. But, you know, we're not going to know until we see more, until we get our hands on it. Um... Yeah, that's Sonic Superstars. Overall, I think it's looking pretty good.